Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and I have another Canva tutorial. Today's video was actually inspired by a comment I received recently on my YouTube video that I made a few weeks ago about how to hyperlink text on Canva. And their comment was asking, how do hyperlink images and videos on Canva? And so I need to make, I decided that I needed to make a different, a new video explaining a few things about how hyperlinks work and the different type of documents and elements types that support the hyperlinking feature. And if you're wondering what hyperlinking is, it's um, just to clarify, when you click on something um, and it goes to, a, it takes you to a link. So for example, on websites or on PDF documents, there are hyperlinked texts, for example, um, a piece of text that says, click here to do this, or click here to buy this, or click here to read this, and then you click it, and it takes you to a website. So that's what hyperlinking is. And ideally, most people hyperlink their texts, and the video that I made a few weeks ago that showed you how to hyperlink text. Now, the question from this commenter is, what if they want to hyperlink images and videos? Short answer, you cannot hyperlink a video. Um, videos just do not, videos are not supported. Now, in order to clarify um, why a video is not supported, um, I mean, I, I don't really know all the details between how Canva does things uh, in terms of videos, but typically, as far as I understand, videos are not usually hyperlinked in documents or in websites. So the, the two main things that people tend to highlight are texts and um, images. Now, let me show you once again how to hyperlink not only a text, but also an image. Um, that's the first part of this video. And the second part um, is where I'm going to talk about how to import or what kind of document types on Canva actually support um, hyperlinking, whether that's text or image, um, just to clarify uh, what you need to do in order to, you know, um, have a functioning hyperlinked element. So let me start by creating a document. Um, it doesn't matter what size it is, but let's just say US letter. And typically in order to hyperlink something, you have to add a text box and this is text. And then um, since it's a dummy thing, I'm just going to, you know, um, copy this thing and paste it several times because I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Anyway, so let's say this is a text. You can hyperlink it in two different ways. You can either hyperlink the whole text box, which I don't necessarily recommend. Nobody hyperlinks entire wall of text. Typically, the way hyperlinks work, most people, um, this is what they do. They hyper, they select a section, a small section of their text, and then hyperlink that. Now, look carefully. As soon as I select, like, um, a piece of text, the link icon shows up. So, whether you select the entire text box or just a piece of text, uh, where the link shows up is a little different based on what you're selecting. So if you're just selecting a piece of text, just a small portion of your text within a text box, the link icon shows up and you can click it and you can use the link, for example, something like that. That's my website, thesiteblogger.com. And then when you enter the link, just hit the enter key on your keyboard and that text is hyperlinked like so and you can even change the color just to you know make it pop out uh, pop out just um, you know it doesn't get buried you can make it a different color like a blue color or an orange red whatever it doesn't matter but that this is what the hyperlink text looks like 
Now, if you were to let's get rid of the link. Now, if you were if you were to um, hyperlink the entire text box, then see that the link icon doesn't show up, but this toolbar does show up and it has three dots more. If you click more, you will see the link option um, in this pop-up pop up menu. So you can click the link and then do the same thing. Just um, type your link like so and hit the enter key and you're done. So this is basically how you hyperlink either a text box, an entire text box, but more frequently a part of the text. All right, now let's say that I want to hyperlink an image. So let me just um, select any image. And then when you select that image by clicking it, this toolbar shows up, then click more and you will see the link option over there as well. And the same way you can just enter your link, um, just the way I just showed you for the text. It's the same exact same process. Now that's for an image. Now, what about video? So if I look for a video from Canvas Video Library and, sorry, video, And as you know, Canva has a huge video library. So you can choose a video like so and see what happens when I try to hyperlink it. If I select it and then I click the three dots more, see that there is actually no link option in this pop-up menu, which means that you cannot hyperlink a video. You can hyperlink text, you can hyperlink a part of a text, within a text box, you can hyperlink an entire text box, not something I recommend, but you can do it. And you can hyperlink an image, but not a video. That's the first part of this video. Now let's talk about the second part. Um, the second part is the document types that support hyperlinking. There are two documents types that support hyperlinking, PDF documents. So for example, if this is supposed to be some kind of PDF documents, um, you can click share, download, video. Um, sorry, it's, it's showing up, the default is showing up as video because we have a video here. Um, but you can choose PDF standard, but see that videos show up as images and not as video files in PDF. So let's just get rid of that. Share, download, PDF standard, PDF print, doesn't matter which one you choose, um, the links are gonna be fine. The links are gonna work just fine. So PDF documents support hyperlinked elements, hyperlinked texts and um, hyperlinked images. The other file type that supports hyperlinks um, is a website. So, um, this is not a website, but if we were to create a website on Canva, choose a website template from create a design. And then similarly, we can add text. This is some text. Click here to go to my blog, the side blogger. Let's just say that's our text. And then you can select part of the text. Let's say I select this part, click the link icon and enter my URL, hit enter. And this is hyperlinked. And I want to give it a different color like so. And let's say that I want to add an image something like that. And let's say that I want to hyperlink that as well. So click the more um, icon right here from the toolbar and then click link again. Enter the link and that's it. And then you can publish your website. All right. 
free domain, continue, test, site, and then publish, preparing your design. The website so this is your website now and if you click it as you can see it takes you to my website so it just means that the hyperlinking is working and similarly you can click the image and it still works so yes you can hyperlink um, images you can also hyperlink texts whether that's part of a text uh, text box or an entire text box doesn't matter you can do that um, but you cannot hyperlink a video. And in order for hyperlinks to work, you have to either publish your design as a website or you have to download it as a PDF document. Now, whether that's PDF standard or print, doesn't matter as long as it's PDF, it's gonna work. So hopefully that answers um, some questions you guys may have had about hyperlinking um, and yeah, that's it. That's today's video, and I will see you with a different video sometime soon. Bye!